Okay, y'all, what's up? So today is a very huge day. Welcome back to the Wolf Customs channel. I get to show you a completed F-250 build. What? Well, but it's pretty much that. But yeah. Okay, well, he has to tighten a couple bolts, but it's fine. So this means that I get to do a full walk around. I get to tell you about all my sponsors. And this is like the huge final reveal. I get to tell you everything about it, everybody that we got to work with, all of our troubles, trials, tribunes. If you watched Landon's Q&A, some of those questions will be answered. X-rays reveal that I got that dog in me. If you hear any yelling in the background, it's going to be my crazy dogs. Have no chill. Ever. Any chill. Hello. Hey. Ridiculous. No good. Alright, so we are going to start with the front end and do a complete walk through on it. Okay, I'm just making sure my microphone is hooked up. Sorry. Um, so the first thing is that the original design behind this, I had seen a lot of people coming out with pink. I was going to redo the whole thing and do it in pink, but I had seen so many people come out with it, so I decided that that was not what I wanted to do. Um, when you see this truck in the sun, you will see the pink sparkle. You can kind of tell up here that it is not regular. It is pink. So this is the orange color with pink flake in it. This is not Landon's orange, just to clarify. This grill, again, I'm not sure if I said it was done by Overkill Sab. This was inspired by the F Your Feelings hoodies that we had come out with, that slogan in the middle finger. Um, next up, we have our Fusion Bumpers grill. And she's awesome. And she has some twisted toe lights in there. We do have one light bar that has to go in. Not a huge deal. It'll go in before we get there. Um, next up, we have our Morimoto 2021 conversion headlights. This truck is a 2018, but these are 2021 Morimoto conversions. They were painted by Outlaw LEDs, and they do have the custom Wolf Customs. Or, sorry, Wolf Customs in here, like the dually does. Um, so that's a huge plus. So this does look like a 2021 front end. And then we get better. Coming underneath, this whole entire kit was sponsored by Striker. So we are so thankful that we get to work with them on this build. Super beautiful. We also have these awesome frame overlays. They were done by TSO Manufacturing up in Tennessee. Some beautiful fog shocks. A gorgeous Striker oil filter cover. Then we come into these custom wheels that were all done, powder coated floaters and everything by BCR. Back up a little so you can see a little bit better. Super clean. Okay, so these fender badges were done by a friend of ours here locally. He had them painted and repainted. These Fender badges here are also from TSO Manufacturing. These are new. These are a new product. These are in place of your Power Stroke badges or your Duramax or whatever vehicle you drive. This would be in place of that. And then, again, beautiful door handles by our local friend here. And again, you can kind of see that pink sparkle come out just a wee bit. Then, popping into the interior, and it does have some things in here like, like my license plate and some, some wires. But the interior also painted by our local friend and Audio Solutions did the sound system here locally to us as well. Hands down my favorite sound system ever. Seats also done locally to us. If you need a quote, let me know. A lot of the stuff we can get done here locally. So going down into my striker again. Thank you, Nala, for walking in my view. It's gorgeous. Brush overlays. We did brush instead of polish. Easy maintenance. We wanted to build a really clean, really beautiful, daily driver. 
So next, I'm going to go into my rock lights. So they are in the lighting rock lights. Excuse my dirty thunder wells. I did a burnout before I built this truck and didn't give it a bath first. So that's next. So these are 120 watt NG lighting rock lights. So shout out to them. I'm very excited to see their new build. And then I do want to show you those rear TSO frame overlays. So if you don't want to pay the money for a full frame off, those frame offs, frame off overlays are amazing. And then going into the hip, also manufactured by TSO. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous with the brush overlays. And then finally, Going into my tail lights, these were painted by Outlaw LEDs. Got a little fender badge there. Had the hitch receiver done. The bumper is also fusion bumpers. The license plate is from Big Shot Industries. And the Gen Y hitch is right here. She's cute and gorgeous. But yeah. So overall, this is the entire build. We cannot wait to bring it to SEMA. It's getting loaded on a trailer today. What do you think? I think I'm ready to get it on a trailer. So obviously by the time you guys see this truck, or this video, this truck will already have been launched on all my platforms. But this is the official walkthrough of the entire build. What do you mean? Make sure, if you're not already, that you like, comment, subscribe, follow us on the Wolf Customs LLC Instagram. That is the best way to keep up with all of the things, where we will be, and what shows we will be at. Um, if you have any questions or would like to see anything else, please leave us a comment down below, and we will see you on the next video.